hello everybody, welcome to week 8 of Era BB. We've got Sikazegs with his Orc team up against Jedi Bear with his Chaos Dwarves. A very exciting matchup. Um, somewhat exciting matchup. Hello, Game of Vision. Uh, yeah, very nice killer Sick has got. Incredible killer. And uh, this strength up guy, a couple of Blodgers, a couple of DPs. Um, plenty of guard, in fact, benching a guard player. I mean, that's wild, isn't it? When you've got that many players that you can bench a guard line out. I can't imagine having a team that powerful. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and the chores are actually quite light on guard, right? Only five guard for the chores, which isn't really very good. And obviously, low strength as well, so they're going to have to get uh, they're going to have to get lucky with removals. Only claw mighty. No, uh, no piling on for the chores. So yeah, the Chorfs are going to have to get lucky, really. They've got their nice uh, nice ball carrier. And the Bulls are quite nice, it's just that they're unfortunately more anti-elf. Like, you know, you need another guard here, really. You really shouldn't have taken the tackle there. <laughs> For most of the games. Like, obviously it's better versus me. And it's better versus, you know, the Wood Elves and the Skaven, but... There's a lot more bash teams. So I think he should have taken... Um, I think he should have taken... Guard. Hello, Steve. Yeah, I've yet to play either of these team, teams. So I would definitely quite like them both to be killed. Yep. Yeah, that would be ideal if both of these teams could get slaughtered. Any death is good for me. Oh, we like, you know, having to give away these hits to get hits. Maybe would have rather piled in on the Black Orcs, like Blitzer Black Orc, and pile in on the other one. But and he's just given up his killer to get killed. But I guess he can't pile on, right? Yeah, you can't pile on with those dirty players that are lurking. But just knocking over the killer means that he's, you know, he's got a double GFI to blitz anybody next to. <laughs> so it's really hard to, to you know, use the claw to get lucky for a uh, jetty bear. I don't know what the uh, inducements look like. A bribe for sick. And it works. Let's go with KO. This might be one of those 1-1 one -one draws where both sides get their drive done. That's pretty common, isn't it, in uh, bash teams in general. And particularly, wow, here we're going for it. Gets the pow. He had four heroes, so I guess he thought it was worth it. Gets the removal. He's got to get lucky as well, hasn't he, I think. I think. The chorf's down so much strength. Unless they get lucky, they're going to feel a bit bad. Mm. He can't afford to foul because he's got two. Like He obviously has to save one TP for the jump up uh, tackle pommer. Like, unbelievable player he is, isn't he? I'm very concerned about facing that that blitzer. Of course, Sick as Egg conceded a game. That's a nice little chain there from the extra block, isn't it? Sick as Egg conceded a game, which meant that uh, he had a roll to see if his players left the team, and a very skilled Blackhawk left the team, but unfortunately for me, not his Tackle Palmer. <laughs> tackle Palmer far more, far more impactful against me. Solid cage and a foul. Gets a Kaz. 
Really nice. The old dirty player guard ball carrier. <laughs> <laughs> Insane character that guy is. Might have been better to just carry on this guy, right? He's on 15 and he's got guard. So carry on this guy so he gets block. Oh wow, well, there you go. Troll's gone. Big, big bunch of strength there. Obviously, no power apple. Nobody's going to power apple. Is, you know, this is a very important game in terms of the league, but obviously, neither of them are going to. Uh, you know, people still have to look after their teams. We're not quite at the stage of having to try to win yet. <laughs> I mean, sick might be. Ha maybe should have power up or that. Sick maybe should have power up or that. There's a chance sick doesn't make playoffs at all. I think Jetty should should make playoffs, but I guess there's a chance Jelly doesn't as well. I, I guess these are both, you know, might not make top eight. I mean, at the end of the day, some people aren't going to make top eight, are they? It's looking very much like Squiggy and Drac aren't going to, but two others aren't going to, so... This is a, a kind of mid-table clash, but it could be one of the more important games. Oh, thick skull, there you go. I mean, after this match, there's only three more, so it's very... Oh, here we go, break tackle in for the ball hit. Sick as eggs, either not counting or not caring about uh, full centaurs. Yeah, but he's not that far ahead. Steve, that's the thing, it's quite compressed, right? The whole thing is quite compressed, and at the end of the day, people are going to miss out. And if Sick wins out from here, you know, four wins, he could, he could, uh, he could definitely, you know, and if Jedi doesn't do so well, things can happen. Things can absolutely be turned on their head with, with results right now. Like, honestly, it's so close. It's literally so close. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's a really good lead, to be honest. You know, you've only got the one runaway leader in, El leader in Elliot. You've got me doing my best to keep it interesting by uh, refusing to win. So it's uh, pretty good. Needed that pow, didn't he? Oof. And this dodge. Oh man. Oh. Oh, he's got to make a blockless block. A blockless block. <laughs> I guess you uh, dodge around with this bull and blitz him. And then that can chain him off to get your hobble out. So yeah, blitz diagonal bl hit gets the pow. So now you can have a, a bull centaur screen, which is quite nice, isn't it? And this guy as well, lovely. Get far away from the jump up fella. Really nice. I guess he's gonna like his strength four, so it's it's not easy to even three plus to get anything on him. I guess he's oh he's got this guy, hasn't he? Here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Do you know what he probably had to GFI with a ball carrier to get out of range of this strength four guy? Had to get out of the range of that guy, didn't he? That was a mistake there from Jeddy. Gets away with it. But that was a definite mistake because, like, you know, otherwise he'd have had to dodge multiple players through to help. So he 
Probably had to make that GFI himself, right? He's got four rerolls. So, you know, okay, one in 30, 60 fall over, but he could have GFI'd once or twice to make it that much harder for uh, Sick. Yeah, relax from Sick, isn't it? You know, you've got to know when you're playing these people that, that you know, when well, I say these people, the, you know, Bull Centaur, these players, Bull Centaurs, you know, they, they can be movement nine and are essentially agility four for dodging. So you've got to play around the break, break tackle. And he just didn't. He just didn't care. Is he going in early? Yeah. Yeah, he probably had to. Good recovery in the end, I guess, by Sick to like force him in. But um, obviously, you don't really. Work. It's not a win for your drive, is it? <laughs> force your opponent in on turn six. <laughs> oh wow! KO, stay out. And them as well. Flip me. But both sides had reserves. So ten chaffs. And ten orcs. With a two turner. With Ron reroll. For both sides, really, the chaffs could get a two turn back, but I mean very unlikely. Two turn here. I don't I don't like not guarding the sidelines, you know, I feel like. Should probably try to charge, you know, guard the sidelines a little bit. The sound is on, Christopher B. Yep, I've got no problems on my end. No one else has said anything. Oh, that sounds on. The sound effects aren't on. No. No. Because I don't want people ruining the YouTube. That sound isn't implemented yet. That sound isn't even a thing. I haven't even made it yet. Can you believe it? That and that, the sounds aren't on. I thought you meant the sound of the stream. I thought, like, you know, you'd left your stream muted or something. Right, there you go. Sound effects are on now. Flip me. Yeah, I've got to make that Artemis sound effect. I haven't made it yet. I will do. Trust me, bro. Trust me, bro, I'll make it. Anybody who thinks these dice are normal is a fucking moron. So interesting, isn't it? You probably blitz the strength four one because he's got. Uh, oh, I hate this! I hate just standing him up there. I guess he's gonna break tackle over there. Oh, he's got horns, of course. And tackle here. Can't pile on. So I guess you put what like. Somebody in and somebody behind and somebody behind? Or just don't bother? This is not good. I mean, when I say not good, it's terrible. You have to put in like two players here, right? This dirty player could be here and then this guy could be behind him. You have to have at least two there. Maybe a third, but not just nothing. Just not defending this was crap. No offence. Who can say if it's good or bad, but it's bad. Like, he assisted an irrelevant block. Instead of, like, you know, coming over to stop the score. <laughs> and could have even had two players here as well. So it would have been... It could have, he could have made it hard than a 4-4-3 even. Yeah, that was, that was shit. That was shit from Jedi Bear, honestly. Not an insult. It's just a fact. Constructive criticism, wasn't it? You know, I said what he should have done. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't just calling somebody a complete moron, as some people do. That was just. Uh, he should have defended. <laughs> right, but he might be able to get to two turn back now. Anyway, 
He might be able to get to two turn back here because there was a riot in amongst all that that the brilliant commentary team neglected to mention. So, uh, yeah, pretty ridiculous KO rolls, yep. Yep. They're getting the gym dice, these fellas. <laughs> Make it when God the Evers the data, exactly. Oh. As looks like less chore for now, doesn't it? But it's not. It's still 10. Oh, I guess there's essentially less chores because the, the orcs are up to 11. Is he going to blitz the uh, jump up tackle bomber? He might do. Problem is, if he does that, he doesn't get the break. He? he probably does want to try the two turn here. That really helps with the potato, doesn't it? That really helps with the potato. And I can just run through there. One, two, three, four, five, six, like GFI once or twice. Probably should have hit outwards, right? But he's movement three, so he couldn't. <laughs> But could have set up, could have set him up here so that he could have blitzed outwards. Because blitzing outwards would have been better. Because if this was a push, it's just not as good for getting through. He's going to GFI once. And he can reinforce there with a ball, I think. Yeah. So we should have moved this guy here first, right? This guy should have been here first, or here, and so that the bull made it an extra one. Because at the moment he can just uh, he can just hit him and then hit the ball, right? Potentially, I guess it's not great, but it's possible. Whereas if you just put the other guy there, it would be impossible. This is pretty decent actually having him there. He got quite in the way, didn't he? Wow. Greed's that. No real interest in stopping the skull. Greeting that before a blockless block. To like get in the way of the touchdown. Sure, his priorities, but then it is a it is a claw, mighty, isn't it? So fair enough. Mm. Blitzes him now. Gets the pow, but he's got to follow. Maybe he could have blitzed with somebody else. Oh, easy two turn back. So that riot cost Sick, didn't it? Without that riot, Sick would have scored in two and tied it up 1 1. Because of the riot, he, uh, he ended up getting scored back on with another two turn. And that the high kick as well to get the. Uh, to get this guy upfield, like obviously he's huge. If he had to give it to a bullet, it would have been so much harder. So, pretty unlucky for Sick there. Uh -huh. But you know, at the end of the day, he didn't protect the ball versus Bulls, so he got what he fucking deserved. <laughs> it is Jetty's drive now, yep. And we've back up to 11, but down two chorfs. And the orcs are down a, a black orc and a blitzer, but both teams with 11. Interesting, interesting. You can just, yeah, 
mean, you can, if you can nail somebody with this claw, mate, it's brilliant, isn't it? Which he does. Power up all? No. Again, sick doesn't care about winning that much. <laughs> must protect your precious players. He's got a pile in to protect his claw mighty a bit, hasn't he? Because he, cause he's movement three, he couldn't run away with a claw mighty. He literally could just go one, two, three, hit, he would have had a GFI to retreat, which is... Pretty, uh, pretty terrible. Not claw pod. Did I say? I think I might say claw bomber, but whatever. Blitzer, claw guy. And being move three is super bad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> so the plan was to pom that uh, bull centaur, but we rolled a double one, and now there's going to be a bunch of blocks for Jetty. Use the force. See what I did. Foul that carder as well. He looks like he's not going to. I wouldn't have hated a massive gang foul on that carder. Wow. I uh, stand firm. Okay, so he rerolled because he stand firm. That's that's completely reasonable. At first, I was like, that's a bit crazy, but. Um, Obviously, versus the stand for him. You definitely just want to power him. And then. So, yeah, I would have made that hit first. And then, if it had worked, then uh, get in two more guys while I get plus four foul on that guy. Good, even, good evening, Unforgiven in real life. No, oh, does nothing. He'll do nothing. And getting the strength five stand firm guy onto the uh, killer is pretty good play, isn't it? From sick. <laughs> oh my god, that's his third GFI fail in a row. Sick with a gym dice. But he's in a pretty good spot, isn't he? Three prone and one stunned. This is uh, looking pretty shit for Jeddy here. And look like he's going to go for a desperation score and starts with a GFI. Instant double one. No. Shocking. But reroll's gone. Oh my god. Hoo hoo hoo! Oh, I was just I was just reading the GFI again. I was thinking you popped your feet. So there you go. Complete overreaction for no reason. Never mind. Oh, is he gonna foul? No assist foul. No. Is that ball safe? I mean it's safe in that uh he's strength four. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean it's a 3 plus 2 plus to hit him and then he's already got a guy who can come in for the assist so it's 3 2 2 to 2 dice so I wouldn't say it's safe no <laughs> a 3 2 2 to hit the ball 
generally not safe. And he doesn't have dodge on the carrier. And he gets nailed. Gets nailed by Jimmy Nail. So both both uh, coaches were somewhat careless with their balls. Of course, Jedi had like was in a tougher position, I think, when he gave the hit on his. But then also he did hang him out there. It was a bit wild, wasn't it? Again, he's got all these players down. Makes it difficult. His killer's been, you know, paired off versus the uh, troll. Oh, he rolled a one. He rolled another one. Oh dear, falls in the crowd. And uh, it's pretty good for the orcs, isn't it? Wow, this is looking, this is looking absolutely diabolical for the things uh, for the chores. And do you know what he's done? He's let his balls touch. Don't let, you, don't let your balls touch. That is, that is one thing to keep in mind when you're playing chores. And they're both in the same, you know. 4x3 area here and that does give the orcs a bit of breathing room to pick up the ball and the strength 4 and get out of dodge a little bit uh, I wouldn't say that at all do I no? no I wouldn't say that at all I'd say coaching wise I would say it's uh, it's off a mark with Chavis Maybe not Chavis finalists, but you know, uh, Danton certainly qualified before, hasn't he? Chavita has got a 70% win rate in CCL, and it's very competitive. Like I'm not, I'm not very far ahead at all. Like Elliot's miles ahead, and I've got a great team, and I'm not, I'm not, you know, clear with Elliot. You can argue that I should have been if I'd actually scored in my previous game, but you know, that's me being a dickhead, isn't it? And very unlucky, but still. And my team's really good, isn't it? It's like I built my team. There's an element of that as well, right? Like, Elliot and I both took teams that we could build better than just a dumb bash team. So, uh, you know, Six got a lot of uh, skills on his team, is not he? He's like, he's lost a bunch of players, but he's got, he's got a lot of SPP on this Blitzer. 110 SPP on this Blitzer. I mean, for a Bash team, that's pretty unbelievable, isn't it? Six got to think about scoring, hasn't he? I don't like. Um, I don't like that he hasn't got. He's not using the strength four to get the ball. Um, but now that now the balls are in a two by three square which is even worse right one of them should, probably should have come back last turn keep them uh, keep them spread out you really really don't want your balls together maybe just blitz with one and get him up the field I would have dodged with the other one, I think. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do you know what I mean? Like, try and get him up here. Rather than just leaving him there to get knocked over. Like, if you buy it by... I think this was real bad. Like, I think this is a real bad mistake. Like, yes, it, it, it holds up his Black Orc for a turn, but the Black Orc is slow anyway, right? Like, if he goes there, if he rolls a 4+, plus, he can cut the corner here. So he might get to go, he might get to double burst the ball anyway, right? Depending on how the first dodge goes. And uh, even if it doesn't, three, one, two, three, and get it up to here. And then he's going to be here stood up and okay, he'd have a guy in front of him or whatever. But, uh, 
Like you're just occupying the black hole. Standing him up maybe to stop the strength four guy might have been worth it, but just standing up there wasn't wasn't doing a whole lot. Because now that bull is out of it. I mean Eliod Eliod is uh El Eliod is head and shoulders in terms of points. Uh but you know. I wouldn't say he's head and shoulders above in terms of coaching ability. But then I, I don't know. Some people judge things differently, right? Like, I don't think people are that far apart as some people like to think they are. <laughs> some people like to think that, you know, they're the best by a mile and everyone else is rubbish or whatever. Uh, things like this or, you know, X people are the best in the world and other people aren't and all this kind of crap but I think, you know I don't think there's that much difference between, say, Rick and Malmere there you go that can mean whatever you want it to mean but um, I just don't think there's that much difference whereas some people would tell you that Malmere's miles better than Rick But I don't believe that's the case. Did he go just in for a one day? If you're gonna dodge this guy, you do it first, right? If you're gonna use a reroll dodging that guy in. Then you, then you dodge him first and make that like, 2D on the wall. Wait. Oh, he's out of range though. Okay, so he just needed the push, but then you still, he's got the handoff to him. Two, two, three. To draw. And he gets it. Flip me. So there you go. Um, I see. I thought that was. I thought it was a solid game. I thought that was. I, I don't think it's. A, honestly, I really don't think it's like a level. A level below, Chalice. You know, below Chalice Finals, maybe. But, you know, I think the playoffs will be on a par. Do you know what I mean? Like, the playoff finals will be the same as the Chalice Final, right? But, um, you know, there's some really good players. Like, you know, it, if you say, it depends what you mean by Chalice level, right? If you can't, you can't compare everyone in the league to, like, Chal uh, you know, Crucifer, K-Fog, etc. Like, they're, they're really good, aren't they? But, you know... So it's good. It's good. Both played well. I don't think Sick Sick made one big mistake, right? Letting his ball get sacked. Um, Jedi did a few, like uh, like the ordering issue there. Um, some of the things where maybe he should have dodged the bulls. Um, kind of probably is more like more maybe it's more minor things with Jedi, and then one big one with Sick. But overall, both played well. Very entertaining game, 2-2, glorious. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.